Hello, my name is Rizal bin Zidan and I want to presentation about marketing communication of Adidas. The first thing is about the company. Adidas is a multinational corporation that designs and manufactures sports shoes, clothing, and other accessories. Established in Germany, Adidas has since grown to be a global company. Adidas is currently the largest sportswear manufacturer in Europe and the second largest in the world. Adidas aims that through sport, we have the power to change life. And Adidas also has a clear mission that is to be the best sport brand in the world. The next one is Adidas logo. Adidas has several sub brand that this is the three of Adidas sub brand. The first is Adidas performance which focus on football, running, basketball, training and outdoor. And the second one is Adidas Original that has some categories on footwear, sneakers, accessories, apparel, and clothing. And the last one is Adidas Neo. Adidas Neo which focus on footwear and apparel for young customers from 14 to 19 years of age. The next is Adidas Unique Selling Proposition. What Adidas has been doing different is that they are listening to their customers and be creative in their outcome. They ask feedback from customers on what they would like to have more from them and also from wrong they would do. From this method, Customers add value to business and indeed there will be a growth in their sales. That was accepted by their target audience and in return added a unique value to their products. That is all about the unique selling proposition of Adidas. And this is the Adidas segmentation, target, and positioning. From the segmentation, from the segmentation, Adidas mainly focus on demographic and psychographic segmentation. From demographic segmentations refers to dividing the market into groups based on demographic variables such as sex and age. Mainly, Adidas targets young customers between 14 to 40 years of age group. But Adidas brand equity is not just confined to this customer segment. The brand is quite popular and is liked by consumers with age group between 40 to 65 as well. And the from psychographic segmentation, Adidas targets upper middle class consumers to affluent consumers to create a premium positioning among customers. And the targeting of Adidas is customers who love and have a passion for fitness and sports as well, including those at the highest level of their sport, as well as non-athletes who are inspired by or really love sports. And the positioning is Adidas has positioned itself as the leading sportwear brand having stronger and connection with the sport. And the second one is Adidas position this themselves as a brand for people who want success and they use great athletes 
shown wearing Adidas products and tried to convince average people that they will be successful if they wear the right clothes. And the last is the brand position itself as the performance enhancer or booster for the inspiring athletes. Next is place. Adidas use an all place strategy that allows them to reach a large number of customers. They have retail stores in Indonesia, Japan, America, or basically all over the world and have an official website then can be used to buy the items that we want and then use the adidas application and also work with reseller stores like jdid in malaysia or camo shop in japan And this is the marketing communication objective that using smart objective. In the specific, Adidas specific goal is clear to increase market share. And the me measurable reason of Adidas is Adidas want also wants to increase in the market share by 6%. And then, according to a preliminary analysis, it become known that for the period 2016 till 2017, the market share increased by 5%, which means it's quite possible to achieve the set goal of 6%. From the relevance point, and Adidas will increase in market share directly affects that the company's profit and its relevant and then the time adidas won't complete the goal from one years the next is adidas branding strategy Adidas branding strategy is based on three strategy choice. The first is speed. Adidas deliver customers with products that they are looking for to wear and then and to wear and when they want them. And then the second is cities. Adidas won't deliver to target cities which are shaping the global trend. And the last is open source. Adidas will open the doors of the brands to inviting an athletes, consumers, and partners to co-create the futures of the sport and sports culture with Adidas. The promotion of Adidas. The majority of marketing is concentrated on television and sponsorship. The creative team of Adidas is known to pump adrenaline in their customers through Adidas through advertising which are well made, very creative and filled with energy. For an example like the one in the picture that Adidas creates an advertisement as well as a campaign that makes the slogan impossible is nothing. This advertisement attracts the customers toward the brand by sending the right marketing message to the customers. Sponsorship is the second line of promotions of our Adidas. The popularity of brand is because it ties up with the top players across the world such as Lionel Messi, David Beckham, and not only an athlete, an athlete Adidas also collaborates with well-known well artists such as Pharrell Williams and Kanye West. At the same time, Adidas also sponsors teams and some of the teams include 
Real Madrid, Manchester United, and Germany national team. The next is media buying. In media buying, Adidas use billboards for traditional media and for digital media. Adidas use advertisements on social media such as Instagram, Facebook, and others. And also Adidas use its application. For digital marketing of Adidas, they are using websites, application, and social media. Adidas often directs its customer to buy an item on their websites. Usually, if we click on an advertisement on social media, we are also direct to the website. The second is application. Besides having the Adidas website, Adidas also has a mobile, mobile application so that customers can view or buy wherever they are. And this is the last slide. And this is the preference website from my presentation. And thank you so much for your attention.